Welcome back to another Chateau de Bruges video. And for those who celebrate it, happy Halloween. As you can see, myself and Danielle are wearing our normal evening attire. Um, no, we're not. Um, I'm dressed up as Harry Potter. And Danielle is... A cat. A cat. Very ferocious cat. Um, so we're just here to say that we hope you enjoy another Chateau de Bruges video. Um, things that you will notice this week. Um, one, Dad is no longer with us in France. He is back in the UK um, attempting to get his working visa. He will be there for at least another week or so. Um, so you'll see him in a, in a future video again, I am sure. He's left us a list of jobs to crack on with. So we've got a couple of weeks to uh, get some of those jobs done, um, including some work in bedroom ensuite one, bedroom one ensuite, um, where we're looking to install the shower, hopefully. Um, and I'm going to be cracking on with a little bit of chair upholstery. So slight change, but good to be get that back. And we're not going to keep you any longer. We're going to get straight into the video. So when you're ready. I didn't know if you were going to go. Um, no. Hello everyone, so I'm on to my next upholstery project um, and these chairs are going to be from bedroom one and I'm going to show you how I get from this to that um, and I'm going to try and record the amount of time it takes me to get both of these chairs done um, but yeah, first step is going to show you how to strip the chair down to this um, and a massive thank you to Kirsty Nash who is one of our YouTube followers um, I've been messaging her quite a lot with my troubles of upholstery um, and she's been really, really helpful. So thank you so much to you, Kirsty. You've been like a god to me in the upholstery world. So thank you very much. I am still very much a beginner um, and I think I've taken on quite a big challenge with an armchair such as this. I'd like to keep the style of the grey fabric, which is going to go really, really nicely into bedroom one and obviously keeping the style itself. The frame of the wood is quite... <coughs> the frame of the wood is quite wobbly, so it does need a little bit of reinforcement. And hopefully, with a little bit of that and a little bit of TLC, it will be good to go. So, fingers crossed and watch me on this journey. Come here, man. Come here. You can come in. Come in. That's it. Yes. Okay, so that's all of the pins out of this chair um, and I actually managed to reach my sub two hour goal, unlike my half marathon I did a few years ago. Um, but yeah, next is to strip off all the fabric, so take out the staples, take out the pins and just peel back every layer to this chair. Um, I forgot to mention as well, these were actually free from Facebook Market. Um, they were in desperate need of upholstery. It does look like someone's tried to paint it though. Um, with the masking tape that I pulled off throughout the de-pinning process. It looks like someone has tried to paint it, so yeah, that's the state that they're in. But next up is to strip the fabric then, so let's go. So, slight issue, my phone decided to die during the last little bit of the time out. So you can see from the time, I did do an extra 20 minutes that wasn't recorded unfortunately, um, but it was mainly just taking this side of the, the padding and the hessian off of this arm. So I've charged my phone again um, and I'm going to continue and try and strip the whole thing today.
So I think that's it for me today and I'll leave it where it is. Um, I've probably got another hour or so just taking out any loose staples um, and spiky staples that need taken out and obviously this bottom bit passing. Um, but today after how many hours? <laughs> after just over four hours, um, I'm a little bit, you know, ready to move on from the chair, give it, give myself some rest um, and come back a little bit fresher tomorrow um, where I can properly finish this off and then I can take it out to Graham and Jake who will take it apart, glue it back together and make sure that the wooden structure is nice and solid. So yeah, that's about it for now. So I'm outside in the courtyard, it's a lovely day and Danielle has brought out to me um, a chair that she's working on upholstery. Now we picked up these two matching uh, lounging armchairs for nothing, they've been stored outside so they were in a bad way. So Danielle stripped it down to the frame and before she goes about recovering and upholstering it I'm going to just give it a bit of care and attention to uh, structure it up a little bit because it's uh, as you can see a bit wobbly where the, the glue has, uh, has worn away whilst it's been outside so my plan is really to just knock it apart with a with a mallet just back to the tenants and mortar joints and then add some wood glue and then strap it up as best as possible for 24 hours and it should then be nice and secure and ready for Danielle to work her magic so that's what I'm going to be getting on with So the chair's all glued up, took it apart, re-glued it as you saw, and we've just strapped it up with some ratchet straps just to keep it all nice and compact while the glue dries, which in this heat and with this glue, is not gonna take long at all. So a couple of hours time, that'll be ready for Danielle to start sanding back, and I think she's gonna spray it before she then re up holsters it. Job done. Hello, so we're in bathroom one and this afternoon we're going to be laying out the tiles for the floor. Now if you remember from before in, in bedroom one here, we have the uh, wet room shower tray again with the built-in slope. So we need to uh, work out where our cuts are going to be on the tiles so they all form the correct fall for the water to end up down the drain. So um, we've decided we're going to be laying these tiles brick style fashion. Um, in this orientation going towards the window uh, we've roughly worked out where we need to to mark our lines out so next job for me is to to mark some lines on the on the shower tray where the falls start to uh, start and finish and then that will dictate where we need to make the cuts on the tile so our, our process is going to be that we're going to dry lay all the cuts all the difficult cuts first until we're onto the onto the flat section of the floor and then we're plain sailing from that. So we're, we'll crack on with that.
So we've cut all our tiles to make the runs for the shower tray. Um, every other tile from here on is just a is a, is a flat tile. So we're going to take these up again. We've numbered them all, taken a picture so we know where they all go. We can take them up again, have a good tidy up and a hoover, and then we're ready to get the adhesive down and start laying the tiles. Hello, so this morning I'm in bedroom one and I'm going to be doing a bit of plumbing today. My task list for today is to get the main shower manifold onto the hot and cold feeds that we have here coming out of the wall um, because once that's on um, and isolated and all working correctly, then Jake and Daniel can crack on with putting the overhead shower head and the handhold shower head and all the other shower bits and pieces whilst I'm away in the UK. So if I get this part done, and it's plain sailing from them, they can certainly handle the rest. So that's my task for today. Um, stick to you on time lapse, you can watch me do that. So that's my two pipes cut um, exactly where they need to be, uh, 28 mil from the finished wall surface as per the shower instructions. Got a little bit of play in each pipe just to uh, give me some tolerance, which is good. So I'm now going to grab the shower head, check that that goes onto the wall surface nicely. So I've got the shower manifold on the wall. I'm very happy with that. That's all gone very well. Tightened up the pipe, so um, we should be good to go. So the next job is to return on the water downstairs um, whilst I have an assistant up here, making sure that no unwanted water comes out anywhere. So we'll do that next. Okay, Dad's just gone downstairs to go and turn on the water. I've been in charge, I've been put in charge of uh, keeping an eye on this and making sure no water comes out. Um, if it does, then I'm going to yell on the radio for him to turn it back off again. Are you receiving? I'm in position. I'm receiving. I am ready to see no water. Okay, I'm going to do the hot feed first. And I'm turning that on now. Oh. Okay, there is water coming out. Did you copy that? No. There is water coming out. I turned it off again. So now we know the hot is leaking. That's just going to try the cold as well. 
um, just to see if we've got two leaks to fix or just one. This is a pretty normal thing with plumbing. You kind of, a little bit of trial and error, you turn it on, see if it leaks. If it does, you fix it. If it doesn't, you're lucky. Okay, I'm in position, ready for the cold water. We're ready. Turn it off. Oh. Okay, water from the cold as well. What water's going on now? That's all good. Cold water's going on now. No leaks. Oh. And there you have it, folks. First time. Absolutely nailed it. Well done, Dad. Okay, good morning. It's Thursday morning here at the Chateau. Dad went back to the UK yesterday, so it's just myself, Danielle, and, and Merlin at the Chateau now. Um, today, what we have planned is to knock out all of the spaces that we've got in the floor in bedroom one. We'll then give all of the grooves a real nice clean, make sure we're getting any uh, excess tile adhesive um, off of the tiles to make a nice clean space for the grout. Um, and then, we plan to put some grout down on the floor. Um, the reason we're gonna grout the floor first is because hopefully by the time that it dries, it will mean that the tiles are, are that much more stable and therefore we can then walk on the tiles to then tile the walls at a later date. Um, I think that's everything. Ready to get going? Yeah, let's go. Ready, Mars? <laughs> Good. So we've just finished our final clean on the floor tiles, um, ready for tomorrow to start doing the walls. So keep... No. So we're going to let that dry for yeah. overnight while we go and get on with some... Um, Sleeping overnight? No. no, we're doing like laptop jobs. Okay, admin then. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to leave it here... Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we're going to leave it here to dry um, overnight while we do a little bit of admin this evening and then be ready tomorrow to finish off the grouting on the walls. Do it together. Ready? Right, good morning. So we're back here on day two. The floor grout is dry. It looks superb, uh, which means that we're ready to start grouting the walls. Um, before we do so, we've got to make sure that we clean out all the grooves, uh, make sure we get any excess tile adhesive off. Uh, just to give the grout as much room as possible in the grooves to, uh, to be able to set. Um, so once we've done that, that shouldn't take us too long, maybe 45 minutes or so. Um, and then we will chuck some grout in and, uh, and let that dry.
Okay, so after two pretty busy days cleaning and grouting and cleaning and cleaning and more cleaning, um, bathroom in bedroom one looks to be done. Um, I really like the, the shade of grey that we went for, it complements the floor and the wall really nicely. Um, so things left to do in this room, um, as you can see the shower mixer is on and that's the, um, the shower mixer that Bas put on in a previous video um, and me and Danielle will then have to um, add the rest of the shower head and obviously the rainfall shower and the uh, external shower head as well as adding the shower glass which is going to go here. Um, once those things are done the shower is pretty much ready to be used so um, yeah a couple more things to be done um, but as far as we're aware we've done pretty well. Good job. Anything to add? No, that was perfect. Okay, perfect, she said. <laughs> so, as you can see, we are still in our outfits because we love them so much. Um, coming up in future videos then, you'll see more of chair upholstery and how I get on with that. What else will we see, Jake? You're also going to see lots of stuff happening in the bedroom one ensuite, hopefully getting that closer and closer to it being finished. But we want you to let us know if there's anything else that you would like to see around the chateau on the lead up to Christmas. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and click that notification bell. And if this video gets 1500 likes, we're going to bring you some design plans for the Jeet that we've got coming up very, very soon. So it's something to be excited about. Make sure you slap the video a like. Other than that, we'll see you next week. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Yeah, nice. That's good. <laughs>